Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands by John Readings. This reading will be for my Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for the upcoming week of August 31st, 2020. It just has been rough, right? Rough, rough, rough week, um, rough month, rough summer, rough 2020. We have a new, a new, a full moon in Pisces on September 2nd. So they are asking us to ground all of the emotional energy. The word that I keep getting is flush. Flush out all of the drama, all of the heartache, the pain, all of the trying spiritual and emotional energy and mental energy that we've had to endure, right? And that have come along with their own lessons, right? Because it's pain don't come for nothing, for no reason. Take all of that and flush it out and be more reflective, right? Use that energy to, to reflect on what you want to create moving forward. Now that you have to let things go, because that's what full moons are about, right? Completing cycles, achievement, letting things go. What do you want to create moving forward? Also being careful not to get caught up in the uh, Piscean energy of seeing what you want to see and not what's actually there, right? Again, so seeing beginnings or seeing something that is clearly time for you to let go of, it's clearly time for it to end and you still trying to hold on to it. You seeing the possibility of something, even though it's time has already passed. What are the major things <clears throat> for my earth signs for the upcoming week of August 31st, 2020, please? Right. West, obstacles, center. Main energies of the week. South, what we moving to, out of, I'm sorry, east. South, what we moving toward. North, the week end. One circle pearl. So, fresh, fresh new beginnings. I love this um, for us earth signs. Charging in, new beginnings. Somebody could have a begin a new job, a new way of relating to money, new opportunities to make money. Earth signs, opportunities to make money that may involve travel, that may involve um, an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that may involve commuting, right? A longer commute. So with the one circle pearl, we have the number 10. 10 represents the completion of cycles, right? You started and you ended. Zero is infinity, right? It goes on and on and on. You don't know where it starts or where it stops. It represents the cyclical nature of life. So you're getting off one wheel and getting on to another one, right? You're getting off one wheel that no longer served you and starting new financial projects. It's also a time for you to reflect on your role in how you make money your job your mental the mental energy that you associate and attribute to money your role in attracting money right how you make money the job itself right the type of person that you are right outside of money outside of those type of things material wealth right she's reflecting on her mortality um as well so this is a week of money definitely focus on money earth signs and achievement but self in those as well not just being blindly led by money look at that so we're coming out of this energy nine wine heaven completion perfection i think wrapping up these cycles these endings so again wrapping up things that no longer serve you how you get money how you make money how you even see yourself right do you think that you're worthy do you think that the universe can just present money to you because i feel like this also just has an element of spirituality in it Right? Do you think that you are worthy of money? Do you think that um, that money can come to you easily or you have to work for it? Right, You are wrapping up how you relate to money and how you relate to yourself. Right, What's good enough for you? What's not good enough? Look at that. Nine, wine, heaven. I cannot make this up. Air signs got two of these too. So yeah, these are major cycles. We're wrapping up major cycles, earth sign. Major moving out and towards that energy so again so this is a job this is money coming in this is because the heaven card cannot have a negative interpretation it's perfection angel number 927 look that up earth signs but again all of the winds of change swirling around you bringing you your abundance bringing you what you've worked so hard for right this is a receptive energy wow <gasps> okay so you could have some issues earth sign with partnerships going separate ways um, a breakup, dealing with people, shared resources, 
right? Because again, you focus it on one thing and they focus it on another. How how you value yourself, how you value money. This, the message here is also what I was hinting on earlier. What's good enough for you and what's not? So there may be a business partnership or something to do with money that you may have to sever or put on the back burner or a project that may have to have to end because the y'all don't see eye to eye. The other person thinks that this is enough, right? The person who is employing employing you may think like, oh, I'm gonna give you a one percent raise, whereas you like, I'm worth more than that. And as you assert yourself, you see that you're not a, a vibrational match to that situation anymore, anyway. So it could be issues in partnerships or in relationships this week. Earth signs for you. Oh my gosh. If you are an earth sign watching this, I need you to understand something powerful is happening for you. There are four heaven cards in a deck of 144 cards. You see, I only pulled five now. You got the heaven card in every, you got it in the west. I'm sorry, you got it in starting in the east. You got it start, you got it moving toward the south and you got it in the north. This is unbelievable. This is unprecedented. Major, major endings. Major endings of a cycle. This could be an end, ending of poverty. This could be like you winning the lottery. I'm surprised a dragon didn't pop up. This is perfection. So there's something bordering on perfection that is coming towards you. Whatever you are moving toward intuitively is it. Listen to your intuition. Stay in, in tune with that, especially around the full moon. Y'all might get like a million dollar idea. Like this is insane. Also, see your self-worth. See your value. Always reflect on self as it relates to money, as it relates to relationship, all of that. Make sure, am I getting a good deal out of this? Because this is beautiful. This is just, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, perfect energy. The universe got your back. They're holding your hand. Like, they're blowing you a kiss. They're doing everything. That's so sweet. That's so sweet, universe. All right. Let's start with Virgo. Yep, this element of speaking. Yep. You get to choose the direction that you move in. So use your voice, Virgo, to determine what direction you want to go in. So there's also layers to this. They want you to know that too. You, only you'll know what that means. But whatever you're working on, they want you to know is layers to it. So what you're working on now is just one layer, one piece of the puzzle, right? It's like when you paint. You can't paint it all at one time. It's going to look sl sloppy and clumpy. You have to do a lot of thin layers so that you get the look that you want. That's what the universe is telling you. Also, in your communication, um, they want you to layer it on. That'll make sense to you. Could be dealing with a Leo. They also want you to be bold. Say what you need to say, Virgo. I feel like this came up last week, too. Be bold. Be courageous. Just do it. Take the directions that you want to take. You could be writing a speech or you could be doing something that has to do with school or work or something or project. They want you to be bold. Say it. Move in the direction that you're being called to. Because you are being divinely helped and divinely guided. That is what they want you to know as well. Opportunities will come out of your ability to guide the conversation, right? To move in the direction that suits you and that helps you feel good about yourself, right? This is about you feeling good about yourself. So you got this and you also got the golden tooth. So again, this is sinking your teeth into stuff. Not being scared to flex on them. Somebody, sometimes you got just got to flex on them, Virgo. They're trying to take you this way, but you want to go that way. And you have to speak up and be like, no, that's not how this is going to go. I don't approve of this. I don't accept this. I will not, right? Sam, I am. So now is the time to put your foot down, Virgo. Speak up for yourself. Be brave. Be courageous. Drive the conversation, Virgo. Right. Next up. Ooh, that popped out. Taurus. All right, Taurus, so again, scattered pieces, things coming together, still feeling kind of distracted. They are also saying, oh, that's sweet. Take the time to smell the flowers. Buy yourself carnations this week, Taurus. That'll be good. Taurus, uh, Taurians love beauty, right, while Venus is still in Cancer. There's a lot. You got a lot going on this week, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. There's things tying and untying themselves. So it's like as you, it's like taking off a wet swimsuit and putting on clothes but at the same time right it's like you know when you try to change in front of people like in public places and you can't take off all your clothes at once so that you can put the new ones on so you're trying to do like a little juggling act like okay if i lift this up while i pull this down right pull the head part through to the, where you never expose that's what they're saying you, you're juggling something there's some things that you're trying to integrate 
while you are shedding other aspects of it. You got the Pearl 2 tours. So again, seeing your own beauty, seeing the opportunities that are coming to you. As soon as I said that a bird started singing, getting out of this mental energy, accepting financial opportunities that come to you, that are trying to come to you and been trying to come to you, but you've been blocking them. Look at that. The light trying to shine and trying to get to through you, but you've been blocking. Maybe because you've been overthinking things, being too practical towards, come out of that. Submerge yourself in beauty. All of this pearl energy, just have an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of grand, grand, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Grander, oh my goodness. <laughs> right, seeing the positivity in things, putting your own stamp on things, doing things your own way, but making sure that you are doing it in a way that benefits the earth that benefits your sense of stability your sense of feeling grounded right don't do nothing that's gonna throw you off your square looking at the long term which tourists have no issue doing in general the Taurians. right last but not least capricorn Yeah, Capricorn. So you might be feeling like you're just going around and around and around. They want you to, you got, yeah, everybody's getting this. You have to heal your sense of self, right? Love yourself. Show yourself that you love yourself this week, Capricorn. Not by working overtime so you can buy yourself something. No, show yourself that you love it. Not just working. Because I feel like some of y'all have been working too hard or letting small things get in the way. There's an opportunity. could be a new opportunity for love coming towards you as well. The universe wants you to heal, again, these two buttons keep coming up, heal issues surrounding love, surrounding money, and how you view yourself, and your self-worth, what you think you are worthy of, right? Do you think that you're worthy of a promotion? Do you think you're worthy of making a certain amount of money, right? Do you think you're worthy of being a millionaire? You may not. Or are you have do you have a heart of gold? Are you giving too much away to where you can't accumulate nothing? Sometimes that happens. It makes me think of uh, Mary Fields. Look her up. Very um, extraordinary black woman, right, in black history. She was like the original Wild Wild West, um, Wild Wild West, like, uh, archetype, right? She smoked cigars. She punched men out. She gardened. She loved kids. It was all of that. But the issue was that she gave too much away. So she was never profitable in her um, in her re restaurant endeavors because she had a heart of gold. And that's why I bring that story up. Right? Are you giving away too much Capricorn? Not keeping enough for yourself. And then you have a sense of resentment or a sense of going around and around and around. Also know that sometimes there are bumps in the road. So as you move on to other cycles, as you move along the path of life, right? Don't be intimidated by bumps in the road. Don't be intimidated by minor glitches or minor imperfections. There's also this element of integrating your crown chakra with your throat chakra. So again taking in these divine messages that are coming taking in these intuitive messages that are coming taking in this knowledge now's the time to do that integrating that right taking it in ah, moving down all of the chakras right allowing it to clear your heart allowing it to um, unblock heart chakra issues to unblock how you feel right working too hard your sense of self um to unblock how you feel about money right and how much money you have and how much money you gonna have right Take in that full moon energy and allow it to just clear through your entire body, even down to your thought processes. Also taking advantage of new opportunities that are trying to present themselves, but that you may not be seeing because you're too caught up in other stuff, right? And what's practical and what's realistic. They offering you, you know, $10,000 more than you make now and you're like, mm, I'm not going to apply for that, right? That's not going to happen. It's, what are the chances of that, right? So don't do that. Get rid of that energy. Get out of that energy. Be more grounded. Be more stable um, in your sense of self, in your sense of love and how you feel about yourself and how you feel about money and how you feel about your voice. And everything else is going to be just fine. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.